In this video series, we are going to discuss how to set up hardness testing equipment and procedure to carry out the hardness test. First of all, what is universal testing machine? And a universal testing machine is mechanical device used to test mechanical properties of materials. It applies control forces or loads to samples, allowing for the measurement of characteristics such as strength, stiffness, and elasticity. The UTM can perform a variety of tests, including tension, compression, bending, bolt test, shear test and transfers, making versatile tool in the fields such as engineering and material science. The accuracy of the UTM machine is within plus or minus 1%. This are the components of the UTM. Per this are the components of Brinell hardness testing attachment, it should be perfectly assembled. We use steel ball of diameter 10 millimeters as indenter, and we have taken metal piece as a specimen for the hardness test. After assembling it all together, then attachment is fixed to the slot provided in the bottom cross head of UTM. After that test specimen is placed on the bottom platen. Then the distance between the two cross head is maintained to suited height of the specimen by the use of controller in UTM. But suitable height is maintained between attachment in the bottom cross and the specimen by the use of controller. Controller is used to control the movement of cross head. The desirable load for the hardness testing is set in the digital screen. Once the specimen gets loaded adjust the load by turning left hand valve of clockwise or anti-clockwise. Clockwise rotation increases the load and anti-clockwise rotation decrease the load. The load is set at any preset load requirement. Do not disturb the valves. We close the valve and measure the indentation on the specimen. Result of how much load is applied can be seen on the digital screen. This is the picture of specimen before testing. This is the picture of the specimen after testing. In the end we measure the diameter of the indentation by using a microscope. After finding the diameter of the indentation and load applied to the specimen, Brunel hardness number is determined. This is the formula to calculate hardness number. In this formula, the applied load, P, and the diameter of the indentation, D, are measured experimentally during the Brinell hardness test. The diameter of the indenter ball, D, is a known value specified for the test. By substituting these values into the formula, the Brinell hardness number can be calculated. And while carrying out the hardness test this are the precaution that needs to be taken in mind. While removing and fixing the compression attachment, we have to be extra careful. Measure the indenter carefully. Avoid edge effects. Some common applications of the Brinell hardness test are Quality control in manufacturing. Material selection, the Brinell evaluation and many more. <laughs> 